The chief executive said the Fanling Golf Course is still suitable for international tournaments, even after the government takes back a small part of the land. This follows a warning that Hong Kong might not be picked to host some international events. It's extremely likely that we would have to look at moving to, to other, other locations. And the threat to drop Hong Kong from the Aramco Team Series in October came after the government said it will take back 32 hectares from the 172 hectare Fanling Golf Course. The original plan was to build about 12,000 public housing units on nine hectares of the resumed land. Pending approval from the town planning board, the chief executive insisted that the government will stick to its plan to recover part of the course. But John Lee assured that international golf tournaments would not be affected. And if the 32 hectares of land is needed for the organization of international tournaments, of course, the government will make preparations and make available the 32 hectares of land for organizers of these uh, tournaments. They, it can be used for parking spaces or reception facilities. Lee pointed out that the more than a century old venue has two world class 18 hole courses and a 10 hole course, enough to host top flight competitions. But it remains uncertain whether the government will still go ahead with its public housing plan after the area was restoned from residential to undetermined last week.